think that, um, as I said, the big the biggest accomplishment has been the fact that now pediatrics is not an afterthought mm -hmm. in product development. It's become part of mainstream product development. Um, that has been a long, hard battle because kids are hard to study, they're expensive to study, um, but why should we demand a certain level of science for adults and then take this evolving, developing organism and say, oh, well, we don't need to know anymore about how it might work in them. That made no sense at all. Right. And so that, that concept now people get. You can't just say, oh, it works in adults, let's put it in kids. And that's been a huge change for everybody, not just the FDA, but I think doctors, parents, nurses, uh, the pharmaceutical companies are, are realizing that this is not something that's going to go away and they need to invest in trying to figure this out. I think the other thing that we're getting there, we haven't gotten there yet though, has been developing pediatric networks. You know, um, uh, subspecialties in pediatrics or adults, they tend to be their own world and you and each academic center wants to be, you know, the best in their field. But for pediatrics, because of the, what we call the numbers issue, you know, because children are mostly healthy, which is a good thing, um, but when you have sick kids, you need to have enough of them to be able to study them. That means you have to have lots of centers involved. Um, and you can't be having every academic center standing up and putting down different uh, research apparatus. Mm -hmm. And so the, the development of having pediatric research networks that are national and international, because the other thing is that more than adult medicine, because of the numbers issue, much of pediatrics is, uh, product development is international. Mm -hmm. And so you have to have these relationships with other countries and other um, regulatory agencies and other scientific academic uh, groups in other countries if you're going to build these research networks for children. And that's just really beginning now.